Hi guys, I'm going to combine two of my playlist themes here. I'm going to do my charity shop gold or garbage theme and also my disassembly theme. And the reason for that is that I've been to one of my local charity shops and they had a bit of a special offer. They had hair dryers reduced to a pound. So I bought ten of them. Why did I buy ten hair dryers? Basically because they generally or usually have good DC motors in them. They run off 250 volts AC here in the UK but they when I've taken them apart in the past have a few diodes in them to straighten up the AC into DC or rectify it if we want to use the right words and then they have the heated wires to drop the voltage and the actual motor inside is generally 12 volts so you're going to have the pleasure of watching me take apart 10 hair dryers and strip out the fans and the electric motors for future projects. So I'll clear a space and I'll get on with it and obviously I'll speed up the video. The right screwdriver bit, but it's too deep. So I might have to take some of these apart by force. OK, being as this one took me a while to get apart, and it's the first one, and I gave up on that one, I'll just show you quickly power comes in. They've got a couple of switches there for heat and on and off. Then it goes through the heater wires and eventually ends up on this motor. And if I just cut that out So that's our DC motor, and you can actually, I don't know if this will focus close enough, but there's four diodes there to convert the AC to DC and a capacitor. So if I put 9 volts across there, it probably will run. So there you go, a nice simple DC motor with a nice fan on it. Out of the middle of our hair dryer. So we've got the potential for some sort of ducted fan, car or hovercraft or something like that. So that's what I'm actually after. Hopefully I'll speed up a bit on the others so we can get them all out. Just for the first one, I'll just go through the useful bits. We've got the heater element, which may or may not be useful. Potentially, I could try and straighten the wire out and use it for a hot wire foam cutter. It's got a, that looks like a thermal cutout in there. And a, that looks like an enormous diode in there. I don't know if that's visible. I would have thought that was some sort of heat sensitive fuse, I don't know, no doubt somebody can tell me. 
if I had my glasses on I might be able to read what was actually on it. So I'll keep that, although I may uh, may never use it. I've just shown you the DC motor and the fan, and this one actually comes with a nice little duct on it as well, so that might make an interesting car, or boat, or something like that, or hovercraft. Then we've got a couple of toggle switches, which should be useful for something or other, a capacitor and a resistor. Um, I th well that's uh, heat protection for going inside the tube there and keep, keeping the heat away from it. So that may be useful for something. And then obviously we've got the power cable and the plug. So from my point of view the most important thing is the DC motor. But we've got some other useful bits and pieces as well. So that's me good bits, and now I'll carry on and do the rest. Okay guys, time for a summary. We have 10 power cables with plugs on them. We have 10 coils of wire that I suspect might be nichrome or nichrome, um, which may be useful for something or other. I certainly won't be throwing them away. Mixed in with them, quite a few of them have got some diodes and thermal cutouts in there. Next we've got this heat resistive material. Not quite sure what it's made of, but we've got some of that that may or may not be useful for something. Next We've got a selection of switches and small electronic bits, some more diodes, capacitors, and so on. So some of them may be useful for something. And also we've got rather fewer screws than we should have because I lost patience with quite a few of those hair dryers and actually just ripped them apart instead of unscrewing them because they had um, tamper-proof screws on them and even though I had the right screws I couldn't get in deep enough to unscrew them so that's why you may have noticed some of the things disappearing off the table while I worked on them so I could give them extra persuasion to come apart and then finally the important thing we have 10 electric motors I'm guessing they're prob probably 12 volt, but they all run. I tested them all with a 9 volt motor and they all run fine. Plus we've got that rather nice looking duct there. So we've got a little ducted fan there that I might try on a car or something like that. And before anybody asks, no I don't think any of these will be powerful enough to fly an aeroplane because they're a bit too heavy for that sort of thing, they're not that sort of motor. But they will work in cars, boats, and maybe even hovercraft, and ducted fans. So there we go, that was the purpose of the exercise, to get hold of those 10 electric motors, DC electric motors. So that was a handy little afternoon's work.